हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम अरमो खान एंड यू आर वाचिंग निंजा इराकी दिनार यूट्यूब चैनल होपफुली यू ऑल डूइंग वेल गॉड विल गिव यू मोर हैप्पीनेस फॉर यू ऑल आई ट्राई माय लेवल बेस्ट टू गिव यू लेटेस्ट अपडेट अबाउट इराकी दिनार सो गाइस लेट्स स्टार्ट टूडे द इन्फॉर्मेशन The Central Bank of Iraq has denied any shortage of cash liquidity in response to the concerns raised by the Parliamentary Finance Committee. Meanwhile, Mohammed Sail, the Prime Minister's financial adviser, highlighted that Iraq's oil sales are conducted in US dollars, with the proceeds deposited in an open account at the US Federal Reserve under the Central Bank of Iraq's name, managed by the bank on behalf of the Iraqi government. An economist appeared on television addressing the ongoing issue that a substantial portion of Iraq's currency, approximately 80%, is still held by citizens in their homes, often referred to as the dinar mattress phenomenon. While many investors have purchased Iraqi dinars hoping for a return, the total number of dinars bought by them is minuscule compared to the vast amount still in circulation within Iraq. This observation raises the question of why there continues to be discussions around removing zeros from the currency. The central bank governor, Alec, has previously confirmed that this project remains on the agenda, and both he and Prime Minister Sudani have spoken about enhancing the value of the dinar. Sudani has repeatedly stated that the dinar is stronger than the dollar, a statement that might seem surprising, but given his position, he may have insights that the public is not privy to. This is not a conversation about revaluation RV but rather a broader currency exchange that Iraq has been preparing for, with symposiums held last fall to educate citizens on the subject. Based on the data available, a sudden revaluation would not be profitable, and the process of transitioning the three zero notes could take up to a decade. The coexistence of these notes during this period would allow for a smoother shift, including dual pricing systems that would make market control easier and give the central bank time to collect the older notes. With the rise of electronic payment systems, the environment in Iraq is becoming more suitable for the eventual deletion of the zeros, and this process is expected to be gradual, occurring without much disruption to citizens' daily lives. Recently, the deputy governor of the central bank confirmed efforts to reduce the dollar's value against the dinar in the coming days, though such announcements have been made in the past without visible results. The central bank may have made several attempts before, and it seems they are making another push now. The frequent discussions about deleting zeros, along with the recent articles, suggest that the authorities understand the steps needed and that it's only a matter of time before they implement the decision. With the clock ticking, it appears Iraq is moving closer to executing this long-anticipated change.